guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ito naman ako ulit for part 2 of Ask Me Anything. Adiwa. I'm sorry po medyo natagalan yung second part but here I am trying to ask, I mean trying to answer those questions that were posted. So ha, kasi kahit pa paano meron pong uh, nanood ng mga answers po with that vlog of mine. Sana po tuloy-tuloy na po ito. So let's start po with the first question. So our first question is from my cousin. Her name is Irish. Ang tanong niya is, Te, ano na app ang gamit mo mag-edit? So, kung ginagamit ko po na pang-edit, dalawa lang po. I have, for my thumbnail, I use Pix Art. Medyo, ano siya, maligat siya sa phone, but talaga ang daming choices at saka madaling gamitin. For my YouTube, I use Kinemaster. The Kinemaster is um, the most, I mean, one of the most popular um, video editing app that na I use for YouTubers. Because it's easy to use and then you can edit it through your phone. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit of a joke because that's what I eat. You know, hi sayo guys. Next question tayo. This is from another cousin of mine. She's a college or senior high school student, if I'm not mistaken. Kaya yung question niya is related to her studies. Ang tanong niya is, any studying tips when cramming? Well, hindi naman talaga natin may mga sanong to cram tayo when we study. Lalo na kapag students, marami tayong mga subjects na uh, pinag-aaralan. So, for me, <clears throat> oh, nag-aaralin ako kay teacher na ako kasi naman I have to study kano na yung mga teacher kasi mga students ko hindi ko oh. nagawa lang so I may study in tips I have four four or let's see what are in the list number one since you are cramming dapat yun ang gagawin mo inhale exhale mo na I have to uh, be relaxed. Kasi kapag hindi ka relax o hindi ka nakafocus, wala talagang pagpasok sa utak mo. Ano may yung aralan mo? Wala talaga. It's like wind blowing in your mind. Wala. So you really have to relax. That is tip number one. Tip number two, when you do, um, I mean, when you study definitions of different terms, <clears throat> usually yung mga terms naman talaga kasi, it's mahaba yung mga definitions. But, one tip ko dyan is you just have to look at least one word to define the term. For example, with the term psychology. Okay? So, what is the word that you can relate to the word psychology? It's the study of behavior. So, you can say a behavior or a phrase maybe or a behavior. So, at least when you see the word what is psychology or say blank is the study of behavior blah blah blah. Letter A, is that what is the choice? Letter B, the choice. Letter C, letter C, the choice. So at least, when you see the word behavior, definitely that is psychology. So yun yung isa sa mga way para madali natin matandaan yung mga definition. At least one word to define the term. Third tip ko is, when you do memorizing, lalo na kapag may mga list, for example, if you identified or you have to memorize the um, work of a certain author, so yung ginagawa ko before is, um, okay, now I remember. Abbreviation. Yes. I abbreviate ko yung mga works of a certain author. Kapag medyo on that day ka na mag exam you only have few hours left. Ang pinakamabisang paraan para mag-aral ka talaga is early in the morning. Like 2, 3, 4, 5, to 6 a.m. Because according to studies, malaki yung chance na ma-absorb mo yung information kapag nag-aral ka ng ganong oras. 
the same time, kakagutin mo lang to refresh your mind mo at tahimik yung area. So, mas marami or mas malaki yung chance na ma-remember mo yung pinag-aral. Yun yung tip ko. Question. We have mom. Kung saan best memory o ang sakit sa ulo nga naghihatag sa imuhan ng power class? This is from another student, Regine. So, in my first part, I explained bakit ako nag-come up with power class with my section and handling before, that is the 12 Socrates. Best memories kasi in your regime is when you when you are united. Lalo na yung yung ano, yung nutrition month. Culmination ng nutrition month. Kasi kahit ang kalit ng kwarto, but I can see that everyone is you, every one of you is working out para lang may product tayo na makikita. On the other hand, yung sakit sa ulo nyo na binigay sa akin is kapag hindi na kayo pumapasok. So, balik tayo doon sa pinatanong ng regime na sakit ng ulo. For our teachers kasi, hindi namin alam kung mag-aaral pa ba kayo o hindi. Kasi ilang aral din kayo hindi nagpapakita. Minsan nga meron pang one. As your second parent, parang kayo yung anak ko, parang ang sirap yung, ewan ko ba, pagalitan or what? Kaya yun yung pinag-reach out. Iwasan sana natin yung point na sisisigin ninyo yung sarili ninyo kasi alam niyo yung kaya nang gawin yung bagay na ito pero hindi nyo ginawa. Pagsisiyan yung sarili ninyo. Saan din, ba? So, next question tayo. This is from my previous student sa dati kong um, school na naturuan. Um, this is also my player in Sepak Takaraw. Galing yung batang ito. So, this is from Rosaline. So, tanong ni Rosaline is, kailan yung panahon na na-realize mo na yung kaso mo na pala yung right person for you, ma'am? Okay. Um, na-realize ko na yung kaso ko talaga is really for me during our prenup. Kasi parang na-realize ko na parang merong nag-think ganun. Hindi naman to exaggerate. Pero merong nag-think and to realize na okay, you made the right choice. Siya talaga yung para sa'yo. Um, years before that, may din kasi akong napanaginipan. This dream is all about me entering into a certain room na maraming cake. Then I have a lot of cake to choose from. And then different sizes, different colors, different designs. That room, meron pang isa pang room na merong dalawang cakes na lang to choose from. The other cake is color violet na rectangle lang yung shape. Then the other cake is color yellow circle yung shape, and then three layers. So, I really have to choose between those two cakes. Sadly, the cake that I chose is the violet. I tasted it. It's so simple because it's only one layer cake. And then, the disregard ko yung yellow. After eating that violet cake, there is this voice from above saying that the cake that I have to choose paladapa is the yellow one. Then I don't really understand what is that dream all about. Later on, I read this kind of article during my devotion. Na yung cake pala is a representation of love. So it relates to the dream ko. And then the color of the cake pala represents the favorite color of that certain person. And the yellow one represents the favorite color of my husband right now. Actually, it's golden yellow. And guess what? The motif of our wedding is burgundy, which is my favorite color, and his color, which is yellow or gold yellow. Golden yellow. And guess what? Our wedding cake. It's a three-layer cake. This 
the shape is color yellow. Next question we have here from my friend. Um, kababata pa ito at kababayan din. This is from Haro. Hello, Haro. Thank you so much for asking. So, ang tanong niya is, mahal mo or mahal ka? My answer for this is, before that, usually, di ba, yung sagot ng mga tao dito is, mahal ka. Pero for me, it's, mahal mo or mahal ko. Why? Even though it sounds like I am a bit of tawag nito? Martyr. Pero these are my reasons. Mahal ko yung pipili ko because kaya ko nga siya mahal because I saw characteristics na minahal ko. Nakamahal-mahal siya. Another one is hindi naman ako yung tao na kapag mahal ko Lalo na kapag hindi naman niya ako mahal, Twitter, or I'm not sure if he also felt the same way with me or towards me, syempre, hindi naman magiging obvious yung papakita ko yung feelings ko sa kanya. So, I will show to him na mahal ko din siya. But not that obvious type of reason. Kapag mamahalan niya rin ako in return then, nasarte ako, di ba? Pero kapag hindi, eh, wala na ako magagawa doon. At oh. least, nagawa ko yung best ko. Pinili ko siya. Kahit nasaktan ako, wala naman akong pagsisitina because I know. I did my part. And I gave my best. Next question, and this would be the last one. This is from my um, um, a church mate. He is pursuing medicine right now. Hello, Dan, and thank you so much. Um, he DM'd me this question. And this question is, Define love based on your personal experience. Well, for me, love based on experience can change. Love can change a person. Usually, kapag may date kayo, <clears throat> late ka. So, parati nagagalit yung boyfriend mo sa'yo. Baka ka-late ka sa ganyan niya. Eh, hanggang sa napuno na siya. Dahil parati kang late. Nag-pray kayo. For sure, in your next um, relationship, you will change. You will change the attitude ng pariging late. And this could be changed like, could change you positively or negatively. It's up to you. You're bitter. For sure, you would change negatively. But if you're a mature person, then you will change positively. Love could also make me realize that it's not for you. It's not for you. It's not meant for you, then. You have nothing to do with it. I will link a Bible verse for that one. God would really lead you into His plans for your life. So, ayun. Gaya ng napanaginipan ko, kahit pinili ko yung violet, pero God would really lead me to that man na ang gustong color is yellow. So, yeah. I'm starting to love yellow. Kahit hindi ko naman pinapansin mong color na ito. <laughs> Before. Hello to my husband, na super guapo. Mwah! Love you. So that's all for my vlog for this time. Thank you so much for watching. And I think this would be my last vlog. Or vlog, sir. Angkat mag-focus na po ako sa um, video lesson. Because first things first, ginawa ko naman kasi talaga itong YouTube channel na ito for a video lesson. So, I hope that you will still with me and Please don't forget to subscribe and like my videos.